things that's most unique about the American Victory is that she's a fully operational ship. This is the real thing. This is actually a ship that functioned in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. We could take her underway under our own power and, and produce the electricity, the water, everything an operational ship would do. Most museum ships that you could board these days are uh, in a non-operational status. That's what's so important about this ship is it's still running. Not only that it survives as a static display vessel, but it, it still actually can get up and go. The SS America Victory was part of a shipbuilding program that brought victory to the United States and to the world in World War II by delivering the goods the troops needed to win the war. Bullets, bombs, beans, telephone poles, tanks, trains, you name it, these ships were capable of carrying those for, through a variety of methods. Really, I don't know if that's reflected enough in the history books, but this, this ship and the ships like it were really the mainstay of that war effort. This ship was built in 1945. They laid the keel, I think, about the first day of April, the last day of March, and 55 days later, she was launched. For the uh, invasion of Japan at the very tail end of World War II, and if you're familiar with your history, that invasion did not happen. So the victory ship went on to serve in the, the rebuilding of Europe, some of the island hopping campaigns, as well as serving in Korea and Vietnam. She's one of 534 victory ships that were built during World War II. Today, only three of those still exist. It served all the branches of the military and was crewed by the Merchant Marine, which was a little bit of an underreported uh, service during World War II. In fact, had the highest casualty rating of all the services in World War II. It's one giant artifact that people can explore and really, uh, really put themselves back in time. When you go to Busch Gardens, when you go to Disney, you're getting a replica of, of maybe historical places. When you come to this, this is not a replica. Maybe you can't simulate the heavy seas, maybe you can't simulate the incoming artillery fire, but what you can simulate is what it was like to be moving throughout the ship with a mission in mind. And I think it's uh, the folks that come on board, especially the folks who have their family members who have served and grandfathers and, and grandmothers, and, and they kind of can put themselves into that role and it's a unique, unique experience for them. While the American Victory is no longer operational in a maritime capacity, she still serves an amazing role in our community. We do a lot of training for active duty and reserve troops. We bring FBI, law enforcement, firefighters, uh, working dogs, and more on board. She's a very valuable piece of this community and, and really provides a platform for training that other communities just don't have. One of the most amazing events we do on board the American Victory is our Relive History Cruises, where we actually get underway, sail down the channel with veterans of all ages on board. We have reenactments on board and we have uh, entertainment. It's a fun day for everybody, but what's probably the the most meaningful is that we have a lot of vets on board, including uh, World War II vets. And it's one last chance for them to really relive the way that they experienced life years ago. And it, it really does bring a tear to your eye. It's an amazing, uh, amazing day on the water uh, always. And it's a, it's a treasure to be out there with those guys. You'll find us in the Channel Side District, oftentimes nestled between a couple large modern cruise ships. Uh, we're behind the Florida Aquarium. Take a look at our website, AmericanVictory.org, and uh, also social media. The ship was home to a lot of true heroes over the years and still is today with a lot of the great veterans we have on board. It's a treasure to come down and I encourage you to get down here and experience it yourself.